Hallo? Hallo? Let me out! Let me out! Oh, hello everyone. Oof, sorry. <laughs> sorry I'm a bit late. I uh, hope I uh, didn't keep you waiting too long. Okay then, look. I've got a box. Ooh, I wonder what could be in it. Ooh, exciting. Well, of course, it's a vacuum cleaner, isn't it? But no ordinary vacuum cleaner. This is a vacuum cleaner with a name. Yes, it's John from Pneumatic. Regular viewers to my channel may remember that I have a Lewis, John's brother or cousin. I'm not sure what relationship they are, but this is a John and John was sold in a department store alongside Lewis. Yes, that famous department store, Lewis John. These, this was an exclusive model. I had the chance, they're not that old. I had the chance of buying these when they were new, but foolishly, I didn't. So I've been looking for a John for quite some time to go with my Lewis. And finally, they can be reunited. So, oh, lots and lots of bubble wrap here. Very useful. Oh, there he is. Snug as a bug in a rug there. Ooh, he's back to front. I'll soon put that straight. Don't worry about that, John. I'll put you to one side while we get out all your tools. Well, first out we have a hose and it doesn't look like it's one of the conical. It looks like it's a regular hose, this. Yes, it's the same width at the cleaner end as it is on the handle. I think it's a genuine hose though. I'm not really sure if John had one of those uh, conical type hoses. Oh dear. Oh dearie me. Whoever owned John didn't care. Didn't care about John. Because look, they've purchased, if I can get them out. Oh, what a sad sight that is. They've purchased imitation Unifit bags. £3.95 for five. Well, I think you can get five genuine Henry bags for about a pound more. Hepaflow ones, which are much better. So, yuck. Throw those out. Here we have the curved handle, complete with suction control in quite good condition. One extension wand. And another extension wand here, attached to the carpet and floor nozzle. Probably because they haven't been able to pull it off. I'll, I'll give it a go before um, I show you the cleaner. But this is a bit different. Um, it's a full-sized Veselvik nozzle, but it has a metal base plate, unlike the plastic base plates we're so used to now. And this was exclusive to uh, John Lewis stores. So they must have specified, I'm not sure, but possibly specified a metal base plate. And uh, ah, that works. It's dirty. Obviously, this is a used vacuum. So there we go. Um, yeah, that's well and truly fastened onto that. Let's see if I can get it off. Oh yes. Just a bit of a twist and I've removed it. So there's the main nozzle. This also comes with the aero brush. The previous version, it's been changed now hasn't it? A bit dirty but it'll clean up. I'll just open it. Oh, I can't break my nails. That part does normally open up to reveal the turbine. But yeah, it's a little bit dirty, but not too bad. And that's it. Now, 
Yes, it looks like we're missing the small cleaning tools for John, but never fear, I've got a spare set, so that will complete John. He should come, of course, with a crevice tool, a dusting brush, a furniture nozzle with a slide-on brush attachment, and that little adapter that enables you to use the small tools directly onto the hose end. Right then, well, I think the first thing we need to do is put John the right way round. Yes, this is making me feel very anxious. We need to rotate John's head or hat so we can see his name. There we go, John. Well, while I've unclipped John, we'll take off the motor unit and have a peek inside. So if I remove the filter, there's no bag inside, unfortunately, but that's pretty clean, isn't it? Not bad at all. Give that a bit of a vacuum. I do have a new filter that I might uh, give to John, although I have got that earmarked for another cleaner. So I think uh, you can wash these. Pneumatics say not to. It says do not wash on these somewhere, but they can be washed. And as this is second hand, I'm not too bothered. And there you go, a little bit dusty. And it looks like this was made in 2014. That could be right, I think. The uh, little date wheel is in there, so it says 14 on it. January 2014, I think. Now this is an earlier model, so we don't have the tool storage we get on the later Henry cleaners. We've got this though, the parking slot. Again, which was a, a later addition. What else have we got? Well, we don't have the tool storage, but we have the clip here. I can't show you at the moment because I haven't got a small tool out, but that little clip there on the side at the back, you can slot one tool into there, but that's all. One and one only, unless you stack them. But all in all, John is pretty clean. Oh, I never knew that. I'm not sure if that's correct. Pneumatic uh, experts, if you'd let me know in the uh, in the um, doobry down below, what do they call it? The thing, the thing below the video. I've lost, I've lost the comments section. That's it. You'd think I'd know if you uh, mention the mention in the comments. Should that have a green glamour cap or was it black? I'm not sure. I'll have to look for a picture. So I'm just going to, this will just get a bit of a wipe out. It's got the 3D face though, so it can be removed. Um, and here's the motor unit. Nothing much to see there, is there folks? A hmm. little bit of scuffing there. I think it's scuffing. I don't think that's going to buff out, but I'll polish and clean this up. That won't be quite so noticeable. Just pop the filter back in. We'll pop John's hat back on. And of course, we need to make sure the name is lined up. We can't have a wonky John, can we? There we are. So, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with the condition of this. Sometimes uh, second-hand pneumatic cleaners and Henry's have had a very hard life and arrive very, very battered. But this one, is pretty good and pretty pleased. It's going to clean up very well. Sorry, he's going to clean up very well. Sorry, John, you're not in it, are you? No. So on the back of John, not a two-speed, no autosave feature. They've done away with that on this model. We've just got the mains on light and a single on-off rocker switch. And of course, up at the top, we've got the built-in carry handle. So we'll have a quick look at the rating sticker. Okay, so Pneumatic International Limited, Shard England, NVR 200. The serial number is 14181708. So I think this is from 2014, January 2014. I think, according to those numbers there, correct me if I'm wrong, please, in the comments section. It's 220 to 240 volts, 50 to 60 hertz, 
and it has a 580 watt motor. When I found out I was the winning bidder of John, I placed an order with Pneumatic International, or rather myhenry.co.uk. So of course I bought some genuine HEPA flow bags, I'll be needing those. And at the time of making this video, my Henry has a special offer. Now I knew I needed the small tools for John because they weren't pictured in the listing, but I thought I'd get him a whole new set of tools. And that's this here. I think they're about £40. Now obviously you can buy cheaper tools than this. You can buy them for about £15 for a full set, but these are genuine Henry accessories. This is the full toolkit to fit most Henrys and Hetties and Charleses and George cleaners. And if you've got Henry wash, you can buy this. In fact, saying that, if you buy these three items, you can turn your Henry wash into a dry pickup cleaner as well. Because the special offer, when you buy this Henry toolkit, you got a free filter, a Triflex filter, and in the order you can specify the size because obviously John is a 200 size, the bigger size, and the compact models are 160, so you can specify in your order 160 or 200. So obviously, I got a 200 filter. Okay, so let's check. We've got all the bits we need. So, of course, we've got the hose, and yes, this is the conical hose. The latest hose that you get now supplied. We've got the uh, carpet and floor nozzle. If I open it, I might as well. You'll see that this one's got the plastic base plate as opposed to the metal. Um, it is the same size though, or is it? Oh no, it's very slightly smaller. If I put them like that. You can just about see the plastic base one is a little narrower than the metal one. So there's that. Of course you get the two metal ones and the curved handle piece. And this is what I really wanted to go with my John, the small toolkit. You can buy the small toolkit on its own as well. Um, I think it's about £15, but I think it was worth getting the whole thing, especially as I got the free filter. So we've got the little adapter, the slide-on brush, the crevice tool, the dusting brush, and finally the furniture nozzle. This is the filter I got free with the tool kit, the Triflex filter. Now I bought this thinking I would use it in my new John, but looking at the condition of the filter, I don't think I'll waste this brand new filter on John, but I do have another second-hand Henry that you haven't seen yet that's in worse condition than John. In fact, the filter absolutely stank. I'll probably wash the filter in the machine, but I think it'll be nice to give it a whole new filter. So you'll be seeing that at some point. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it is a second-hand pneumatic Henry of some description. So I'll keep that for later. So, as I said, it's a good, good value. If you need a new tool set for your pneumatic, get it from myhenry.co.uk and choose your free Tritex filter. Okay, John, it's time to test you out. Pull out your cable. I think this will have a 10 meter cable. And the other exclusive John Lewis pneumatic I've got, you've seen on my channel, is a Henry Extra. Right, there we go, yes. I think it's uh, it's probably 10 meters. This has been tested for electrical safety because it's come from a charity shop on eBay. So they have to test things for electrical safety. So I think I'll be okay. Right, well, that's a good sign. The red indicator light, it's a bit hard to see with the bright lights, but the red indicator light has illuminated. So John, why have you been 
discarded by your previous owners. I hope it's not because your motor doesn't sound as it should. We'll soon find out. Here goes. <laughs> Well, well, Johnny, despite being trapped in that box and put on various different vans, you've arrived here safe and sound and you can now smell your surroundings, can't you? With your hose connected. Ah, oh, yeah, very happy with John. Very nice. Lovely jubbly, really pleased. Now, John, come here, come here. John, I know you've arrived here thinking you've just been unboxed by this nutter on YouTube, but there's another reason why I've got you, John. I've got someone very special for you to meet. Do you want to know who it is? What? No, no, no. It's not Dolly Parton. Why would you want to meet her? What you like? Yeah. John's a country music fan. Now, I'm sorry, I haven't got Dolly Parton upstairs, but I've got the next best thing. I'll go and get him. OK, John, it's time to meet this very special person. Come here. He's going to come through the door any second now. This could be emotional, folks. Now, no tears, John. Now, come on. Don't be shy. John, allow me to introduce you to Lewis. Together at last, after all these years. Oh, I'm filling up. <laughs> so emotional to see them. I mean, look, I know they're smiling, but there's a little tear coming from, from Lewis's eyes there. Look. Oh, Lewis. Tears of happiness, reunited at last, together forever. Oh, what a beautiful sight. Look, they've even joined noses as a mark of their long lasting friendship. In fact, that gives me a wicked idea. Nyak, 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 nyak. Dare I do it, folks? What would happen? I'm not sure. I'm going to do it. Look. John and Lewis are connected. What will happen if I turn them both on? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm going to find out though. Should I do it, folks? Should I turn them both on? What's going to happen? I have no idea. Will John suck up Lewis or will Lewis suck up John? But they've got the same motor. It's going to be an even match, isn't it? Or, well, what might happen is we may open up a black hole in space and time and we could all be sucked into it. Me, Molly, Daisy and all my vacuum cleaners could disappear from YouTube forever. And I'm sure a lot of my haters would love to see that. But not yet, folks. I'm going to be here for quite some time yet. God willing. Well, <laughs> I'm doing I'm going to do it. I'm going to turn Lewis on first. Lewis. Now, get ready for this, folks. What's going to happen? Probably nothing, but it'll be fun trying. I think John's motor, the fan in John's motor is turning. I don't know if we can quite hear John going. And there's a bit of air coming out of John's back passage here, look. OK, let's turn John on. Oh dear. <laughs> oh no, that made a burning smell. Don't do that, folks. <laughs> I've done that so you don't have to. No, <laughs> don't do that. Crikey. I don't know what... No, I shouldn't have done that. Let's hope I haven't damaged anything. I'm going to try... Hang on. Let's disconnect them. Sorry about that, fellas. You know, I'm a silly boy. Let's try John on his own.
Phew, I've not damaged him. Have I damaged Lewis? No. Phew. Now I've had to use the new hose for Lewis because when I opened up Lewis's box, if you Check my channel, you'll see when I unbox Lewis. Lewis was second hand as well, but he came with all the tools and the original box. But for some reason, when I opened up Lewis, the hose wasn't in the box. I know I've got a spare pneumatic hose knocking around somewhere, so it must be from Lewis, because Lewis would have had the same hose as John, not the new conical hose. And now, now I've got Lewis, I can see that he's got black wheels as well, so it must be correct. They've both got just plain black wheels. But there we go, together forever. Uh, and nobody put asunder. Is that the, I don't know if that's right, but uh, we could have a little ceremony later. Shall we have a same sex wedding, John and Lewis on this channel? Well, anything goes these days, doesn't it? I think I'm going to say that they're just bosom buddies and they're happy to see each other and will probably enjoy the weekend getting drunk and watching the football, if there's any football on TV at the moment. You might be able to see an old match of the day from 1977. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Yes? Yes! Right, that's it. This silly little video from a silly little man is over for the time being. Really happy? Not with Lewis. Yeah, I was happy with Lewis, but I'm happy with John. So, John and Lewis together at long last. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this frivolous little folly of a video. And I'll see you all very soon. And one day, folks, hopefully sometime this year, I'll get all my pneumatics out. What a sight that will be. All of them, a multitude of colours and shapes. But most of them have got a smiley, happy face. If you've got any comments or questions, please comment below and I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Bye for now.